Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. Today we are going to continue the discussion of uh, traditional Chinese painting. In last two YouTubes, we have discussed the concept of uh, Long Mai or Dragon Wing and the Cun or Texture Modeling, Texture Wrinkle in Chinese painting. Today we are going to explore the concept of Kai He or opening and the closing. The concept of Kai He or opening and close refers to the creative process of Chinese landscape painting. Kai He translated in English as unity of coherence is a general term composed of two Chinese characters. The first character, kai, means to open, which always suggests to divide, to separate, and to expand, as in the word fen kai. The second character, he, means to close, which also means to join, gathering up or winding up. The significance of kai he has two forms of understanding, or two levels, um, in the uh, Chinese landscape painting theory. The first level, it has to do with uh, the creative attitude. Um, I would think this is a metaphysical level. While composing a landscape painting, the artist acts as a creator. He escapes the distraction of representational likeness and deals directly with the pure relationship of open and close, or chaos and union. How many of you have seen the movie Avada? Uh, yes, I did. I love the floating mountains, which was reportedly inspired by the real Chinese landscapes in areas like uh, Mount Huangshan, in Guilin, and especially the Zhang Jiajie National Park, as you see in these pictures. And here is the movie setting. What amazed me is that the floating mountains in that movie are uh, set in the outer space was purely created by the imagination of a computer landscape artist. The inspiration from the Chinese landscapes and other places in the, er, on Earth. However, they have recreated the entire world of uh, Pandora from scratch, not bounded by any earthly rules that we have seen in our um, life. You can see um, an early landscape painting I've done uh, in 1994. Um, it's an abstraction of a landscape. Um, you might think it's a floating mountain. I actually did this in the idea of a potted landscape. So the Kai He concept has to do with the idea of a creator uh, creating the landscape uh, in your art uh, as if you are a creator. Long time ago in the Song Dynasty in China, the Chinese has fascinated to build artificial landscapes in their garden with strange stones and found rocks. Later, they simply applied the idea of Kai He to create a potted landscape in a pot. Um, it's, not, it's different from miniature landscape, which is scaled down from the real world. But uh, they create uh, the landscape out of their mind. It's known as a bonsai in Japanese and penjing in Chinese today. And um, even today, you can see the gardens are still built in the idea like a painting. The wall uh, behind the white wall is like a paper and uh, the mountains and water decorated garden as a 
uh, in the principle of Kai He composition. So in the practical level, the term of uh, Kai He refers to the composition principles uh, to open and close. It has to do with the composition of uh, a painting. That is, when you open or Kai a, a mountain or hill that separate from one another, you must think of the pulling them together. And when you put mountains together, you need to think of the dividing them. Each landscape, imported landscape art, has one or two kai he, as seen in this picture. Kai means to separate. So you have two groups of a mountain. One is the host and one is the guest. It was divided by a valley or a, a lake, if you will. Um, and in all the party landscape, you see one kai he or two kai he, because in one large kai he, there are small kai he within the group, within each group. Let's like, take a look at uh, some other examples. When you only have um, the union um, or the he element without uh, dividing of or kai, um, you lose the um, rhythm. And uh, so you need to think of dividing when you put the uh, mountains together. And you need to. Um, think the uh, putting together when you divide hills or mountains. That's the term of uh, kai he. So each group is one kai he, means uh, dividing or kai and he together is a, a complete um, picture or landscape. Here are some bad and good examples. Um, this example shows you only have the he element without uh, uh, kai or dividing. It's a, um, a piece of rock without dividing, look like boring. And uh, if you only have small rocks without a unifying peak or um, major host mountain, you lose the point of interest. Here uh, you have a unity of a major mountain or hill. Then you divide it with a, a guest mountain group, and then connect them with uh, some scattered rock in between. So you form a kai he landscape with kai he. Together is he, um, and then you separate them with uh, water or valley. To sum up, kai he means to open or to separate, and he means to close. However, when you deal with the separation, you need to think of the opposite element, that is the union. And when you deal with the monolithic mountain, you need to think the separation of uh, the elements. So don't uh, just uh, rely on one. You, a good painting should have both elements, kai and he. Kai and he. That's a, a good principle to remember in your composition of landscape and the creation of your own landscape. So you, know, you don't need to rely on the real thing. It's, uh, according to this principle, you can create your own landscape, a good landscape freely. So a whole creating process is called kai he. It's like uh, you built a part of the landscape from scratch or with your computer as you see in Avatar. You are the creator. You are uh, the artist. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.